Well, good morning, guys. We're gonna do a little crappie fishing today. I've got my dad with me. Howdy. And Bernie. So we got a full boat. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Looks like 53 degree water temperature. We actually fished last night for just a minute. Uh, caught a couple just suspended out in the uh, the main channel here of the cove. But I think we're gonna get some fish that are gonna be pushing up closer to the bank around some of these like fronts of the docks is what I'm thinking in my head. Maybe a little bit of brush. Uh, we got the wind blowing in, so we'll be focusing on wind blown um, secondaries probably with the docks and or brush paws on them and trying to pick some crappie off there. I think a lot of these fish that have been out in the creek channels have scattered and uh, they're starting to ease their way towards the bank. So hopefully we can find a couple good schools of those and finish out our limit in a pretty short period of time. But we're just gonna go fun fishing and see what we catch. <coughs> That one. that one. That's a crappie now. Perfect. Dad's on board with the first crappie. Go ahead and flip them in. Don't use uh, our. Keep your line a little longer when you flip them in. Longer. Okay. Yeah, it'll be easier to get them. Otherwise, it puts a lot on the rod. There he is, Bernie. Finally found a good school of them. For number one for me. Number two, Brian. Moved out just a little bit, right about there. <laughs> I know what it is, Bernie. I didn't let you lick the last one. Yeah, there you go. A little school. Shad color seems to be doing good. I might have to swap over. Let my dad use this color. He's got a silver shiner type color on. I'll have to look and see, but that usually worked really good. I might have to change the old shad color. That's what's uh, getting them to eat. I think it's the color, so I'm going to put you the same color I got on. I should have had a bite. All right, Burn, let's see. I think they bite the shad color now. They ought to. That or they're just not going to bite. Have to move a little bit. They're stubborn, aren't they? Yeah. They're like that sometimes. You catch one or two and you just got to move to a new little school. Other times you can get them on fire, you can catch 10, 10 in a row. <laughs> There he is. Yeah, really make sure you're letting it, when you cast, let it sink for about two to three seconds on slack line before you reel. All right, excuse me, Bryn. Help me put them in. A healthy one there, Bernie. Don't knock them off. You got. <laughs> oh, hang on. You're in your beard. Stop it. There you go. I lost him. Bernie knocked him off. And the jig got stuck in his beard. <laughs> Bernie. There we go, Bernie. That one? Yep. Cast right over in that shade right behind that pontoon. Another one about 10 inches, Bernie. Back out, Bernie. That one, don't you? Doubled up. There you go, I got a nice one. Get him in the boat. Perfect. Doubled up, Bernie. Swap my dad over to an eight ounce head because it's so windy, hard to cast. I'm still using the 16. We're both using shad color swim baits. Kitech Easy Shiner seems to be the ticket. Nice.
Oh, there he is, Bernie. Right over there in the shade. Nice one. Okay, Bern, don't knock him off. <laughs> All right, we moved to the back of a creek with some shallower condo docks. You can see how much different the watercolor is. Hopefully, you can see it on camera, but it's uh, probably two and a half feet three feet of visibility compared to maybe like almost six feet where we were there he is Bernie. not a big one not a big one at all bernie dear god i don't even know if that thing's nine inches let's see Got him? Nice. Nice one, too. Heck yeah. Seven more to go. Is that, is that where you caught him in? Yeah. Yeah. Changed colors this time. Back to our silver shiner now that the sun's out a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're going to be in good shape to get home and watch some basketball. It'd really be prime, but... Look at that, Bernie. Another little healthy one. Ten and a half inches, probably. Not in here again. There he is. Yep. Healthy one. Yeah. All right, well, we have got our two man limit now. Uh, we had to work for him. This morning, it was not terrible. Uh, we were able to catch a decent amount of fish pretty early, and we caught basically most of them around condo docks. I tried secondary points with some brush and stuff and never really saw the amount of fish that I like on those areas. There's a couple spots that we stopped later in the day after I let it warm up a little bit that had some of those fish around there, but again, not the numbers that I like to see uh, for crappie fish. And I like to see the bigger schools or, or have a lot of activity around there. So we were mostly were fishing in and around condo docks, uh, either on the outside edge with the wind blown in because it's very windy today, or uh, inside these like main runs here, I would say just basically flipping the shade for the most part. But our bait of choice was a little Kitek Easy Shiners, the three inch. This is Silver Shiner, that caught a lot of fish today. Uh, my dad, he threw just our famous Shad Keller that we throw all the time. Pretty much threw that the whole day. And I also mixed in Sexy Shad for a while up here on the lower end. Uh, it's very clear, it's a very clear natural bait. It's got a little chartreuse flake in there basically. But uh, up here on the lower end, you can see really, really well, probably like at least four or five feet, I would say, up here. Uh, we went in the back of some creeks and the water got pretty dirty pretty quick down to probably like two and a half foot of visibility or so. And we did catch some fish back there, but uh, like I said, it wasn't the numbers that we like to see. So we, we ended up coming back out here to lick clear water and saw a lot bigger schools. As far as some of the fish that were pushed back, uh, still around a lot of shad, I think, which was about, either seeing them a lot like three quarters of the way back or we're seeing a lot of them out in the main lake gut still uh you know closer to the main lake just out in the creek channel so that was a, a good spot for us to fish or, or kind of look around and just find some shad you found a lot of crappie but uh overall the bite should continue to work towards the fish really staging up i think that shallower bite with the brush and stuff is gonna it's gonna really kick in here soon Water temp, my Laurent shows like 57, 58. My Garmin shows like 53. So if you want to call, just say like 55 in the middle, because in my opinion, the Laurent's always seems to run a little bit higher, and the Garmin seems to run a little bit lower. So I always take the difference of those two. That seems to be about uh, pretty pretty accurate for me. But uh, it was fun. We had to work for them, especially in the last, what, two hours, you think? Yeah. It yeah. got 
like our last five fish took quite a while. And uh, when we did find these big schools, they would move a lot and you would catch one or two like right in a row. And if you didn't catch the third one right away, you may as well leave because uh, we wasted a lot of time cycling through baits trying to get some of these these schools to eat and they just weren't having it so we'll uh we'll see you guys on the next video and uh might be the big bass bash we'll see and uh hopefully nate and i can put some big fish together there so thanks for watching